welcome back. We haven't done one of these in a while. I think we did Bali and then we did Winchester. Bali and then Winchester, and that was it. I'm not gonna lie, if that's the type of plane we're flying on, I'm not going. What is that? Dublin. Dublin requires a spin. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're off for food. We're in the Rio. It's actually, um, I would recommend so far. It's very nice. We'll see how, how, how good a night's sleep we get. And then I'll be able to recommend a bit better. But yeah, it's nice to be fair. So yeah, we're in Dublin. We're here for a business event to Monday. Not tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday. On Monday. Um, so yeah, we're going to be exploring tomorrow morning. We're going to go for food now. Probably going to go for a Nando's or something, just something chill because we're quite tired. And then we're going to go explore tomorrow morning. We're going to train. We've got work to do tomorrow afternoon and evening. Business event Monday. And then we come home on Tuesday. So yeah, we will take you on our little Dublin trip, Dublin journey. Before another big one. Big. Stop with the Irish accents. Why? I'm trying now. Bryce is the one that didn't bring a jacket. Great, great decision. Is it the same? Yeah. Halloumi sticks and dip to start. It says serves two, but we all know that's a lie. Look at the moon. Is that not amazing, Bryce? I'm stunned. It's huge. off the evening there I think we we'll just head back and get something to just like a, I'm gonna get something to just keep filling I'm just gonna get some water myself, a bottle of water and then we're gonna head back to the hotel and go to bed and it's quarter past seven so yeah that's it we will show you what we get up to tomorrow morning Got porridge. Always. We get a bit more adventurous. No? Uh, that's a good choice. And coffee. coffee. We're going on a Bryce and Laura walking tour. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a walking tour of Dublin for you, so we're going to take you with us. Laura's going the wrong way. <laughs> that's a good start. <laughs> Please don't come on our walking tour because Laura's gone the wrong way immediately. <laughs> okay, we might not make it back because Laura's in charge of this, so this is going to be fun. We are. Where are we, Bryce? I don't know. This Have is a look. This this is, is oh, Halfpenny Bridge. Look down that street down there. That's a, nice, that's a classic Dublin. Right? I know Bryce this. Says that I know I've only this been here I've been for Dublin an multiple evening. Times. And apparently he knows Dublin now. What's the only two things we've looked at so far? The bridge. No. Oh. Two donut shops. He's taking shops. me to two donut <laughs> shops. At what time is it? Nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock and we've now been to two donut shops. We haven't had a donut. We didn't buy anything, we were just looking. Anyway, this. I 
up my gloves on because it's freezing. Actually, they're my gloves because you didn't come prepared. And gloves because I didn't bring a coat. So the bridge is done. We are now on to the Temple Bar. And that area, and then we're going to go to Dublin. We're in Dublin, Bryce. Dub <laughs> Dublin Church, the St. Patrick's Cathedral. Yeah, I've got the list. The Trinity College. I don't know what else to do. We're just having a we're just having a wonder, to be honest. Hold on. Laura's got the list. Halfpenny Bridge, Temple Bar, Dublin Castle, St. Patrick's Cathedral, and Trinity College. I was right. We will see you at the Temple Bar. Okay, so on to location number two. We are at the Temple Bar. <laughs> It's not actually a bar, it's just a... Well, there is a bar. Well, there is, there's one there. It's that's, there. The, that's the famous one, I think. Welcome to Laura's uh, <laughs> walking tour of Dublin. Please leave a review below and let us know if Laura needs a new job as a tour guide. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, so it's just loads of little bars and shops, which is very cute and it's very nice. Okay. Welcome back. This is location number three. <laughs> We are at Dublin Castle. It's Although, I'm way. not sure. If we, I don't think we can go that way. Is that Dublin Yeah, we can't go that way, though. I feel like imagine. Laura just wanders into Dublin Castle. We're doing this walking. No, you can. Location number four. Bryce decides to take me on a tour of gyms. And here we are. Am I going to be closed? Never mind. A we'll lot try. of gyms are closed in um, Dublin on a Sunday. Which is fine. No, in case you Well, we were going to train, weren't we? But mm, can't now, but it's fine. We're going to keep doing our walking tour. So, location number now five. Because we visited a gym Which that wasn't closed. open. It's St. Patrick's Cathedral. <laughs> Quite an important one, this one. It is. We'll see you in a second. Are we going to the park? I don't know. Can you? Location number. Location number this six. This is an unexpected location, but I well, can see there was a nice park. So we've come to St. Stephen's Green Park. <laughs> and there's also a St. Stephen's Green playground for us. <laughs> for you, yeah. We'll take you in there. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? It is really nice. Oh, look over there. I mean, all you can see is bushes. There you go, that's a bit better. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's... Stuff going on over here. This, do you know what this reminds me of? I know we're in Dublin, we're not in New York, but a little bit like um, Central Park. Why are you headbutting? <laughs> what are you doing? All the rocks. Like Central Park. Do you did your head headbutt spikes over there as well? <laughs> I think they're just seagulls, to be honest. Okay. Location number six, St. Stephen's Green Park. Bonus location. Bonus location. That's a, that's a cool seagull, isn't it? Oh, just pecked that other one. It looks like rubies. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, that's sad. Fun fact with Laura's walking tour is that they have Pizza Express, but they call it Milano. Interesting fact for the day. What do you think of that fact? Oh, interesting. Do you know what I've actually noticed though? Quite a few places in Dublin, they're just, they're similar to like English brands, but they just have their own name. So like Primark, Primark is Penny. Pennies. Milano Pizza Express, so yeah, similar places, and it's it's a bit like it's kind of a cross. Between, Dublin feels like a cross between Liverpool, Birmingham with the trams, and London. I don't think it's anything like Birmingham. Oh, okay, it's nothing like Birmingham. I was wrong. <laughs> and then obviously you've got Central Park, <laughs> which is where we just walked. Um, so yeah. Interesting. Now we're going to Trinity College for our last destination, and then I want to go to Chinatown. And that walking tour has taken us how long, Bryce? Uh, about an hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> we yeah. thought it was going to take us three hours, and we've done 
about seven, eight K steps. Yeah. So yeah, mm. to you it probably looks like a whole day, a whole day tour, but in I don't reality, think we've done two. Uh, where are we going, Laura? Who <laughs> knew? Okay, oh. guys, you are fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh. Are you excited? So we're just putting the uh, walking tour on hold for a second. This is, this is location number seven or eight. Yeah. And Laura's taking me to Dublin's Lululemon. <sighs> okay, I think it's number six or number seven. I don't know, it was kind of. Trinity College. I should try and go in there, but I mean, I don't think we can. It's famous, so. <laughs> we saw it. I don't think that's the college, though. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Hit? Oh, that's the college, okay. Laura's on it. Laura I knows am. her Dublin I history. I, I know everything now. Okay. That is the custom house. Anyway, we're going to wander all the way down there and then cross and walk back again. And then hopefully Lululemon will be open. It was closed when we were. Oh, I'm not walking all the way back down. I am, on my own then. Huh? I am, on my own. start a little kayak. It's a lovely day though. That is the Jeannie Johnson boat. And that is, ship. Yeah it says on the side Jeannie Johnston ship. Yeah and so Jeannie Johnson ship. The Samuel Beckett bridge. And the Samuel Beckett shark bridge. I'm gonna shark call it. Bridge. Yeah, looks like sharks it's a shark bridge and I think we might get pooed on there's loads of seagulls around here, you know. How's the tour been, Bryce? I've, I've enjoyed it, but we've done it pretty quick. That's an hour and 45 minutes. So what time did we start the tour? About quarter to... Quarter to nine. Yeah, because we were talking about donuts, we? are on the bridge at nine o'clock. And... The time is... 10.30. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. So we're going to walk over the bridge, the shark bridge, and we'll see our next location. It's all surprises here. The shark bridge. Samuel Beckett bridge. <laughs> oh look, it's a shark bridge. Where? Joke. Oh. <laughs> it's not I thought he was being serious. I was like, I knew it was a shark. <laughs> anyway, this is the bridge. Walking tour done. Dublin has been lovely this morning, hasn't it? It has. Now we're working. working. So we're finishing the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.